Oh no, my bogey thing. Does he have a uh, Yeti? He does. He's got a mighty blow Yeti, so he's got half a chance. The theory uh, clangers with with shaved corners is that it saves on materials. So instead of making six dice, they can make fucking seven or eight or whatever for the same amount of for the same cost. If he's seven too sturdy. <laughs> Got Cheney. He's got Cheney and an extra man. I don't think the extra man was such a good. Oh no, the journeyman was just. He just had a journeyman. It wasn't a merc. It was just a journeyman. Fair enough. No average rise. I'll be back to the woodies tomorrow. Um, just playing the dwarves because I feel so terrible. So yeah, only twelve players. Yeah. Yeah, I thought the journeyman was a was a merc. But it wasn't. It was just actually a journey. So yeah, getting Cheney's a fair shout. Yeah, I think scumming something would have been a good idea. Yeah, Cheney's amazing. A strength four, claw, movement eight. Wrestle. Cheney's one of the few players I'd get instead of a wizard it was sarcasm <laughs> it's definitely possible to throw the dice in a way yeah they absolutely clang as you can still roll them and get a certain result you can absolutely do that which is why in casinos you've got to hit the wall of the uh, throw them from a cup and hit the wall but you know, you've got to hit that back wall because otherwise people can just roll. People can roll them well or bad. So, if you're playing tabletop blood ball, the number one tip is actually <laughs> learn how to roll dice <laughs> to give you the best, uh, the best chance for success. Oh yeah, top ten Dysons of the week, yeah. <laughs> block, 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 claw, palm, dodge. <laughs> That's brilliant. Oh, holy shit. Roll the sixes, yeah. Yeah, it's literally, if you could, literally the best thing to do in tabletop is to just practice dice rolling. So that you don't roll ones. And if you don't... If you don't roll ones, or if you roll ones half as much and use elves, you're gonna fucking win, aren't you? Pretty, pretty well. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
Don't forget table leg, squirrel dude. And use the people's champ on fumble. So, so there you go. He doesn't even want to fuck with this stand firm guard. LOS. <laughs> that would be a nice thing for fan favourite, wouldn't it? Rocks don't hit them. Oh. oh god, I've got fucking what's it called? Conjunctivitis. And just generally a cold. And it's pretty annoying. I really wouldn't want to face come on the <laughs> state I'm in. <laughs> I don't think Luke had to. He played what randomly like he played about twenty odd games, didn't he, in one season? At the start of the season, but then stopped. This setup is the uh, Jimmy Fantastic Space Invader setup. Where basically just it's really it's well not really good. It's kind of good against strength three frenzy, isn't it? So that they can't they can't make many blocks, blitzers, without getting themselves frenzy trapped. <laughs> How dare you, Pedro Jack? How dare you? He, do he goes for the frenzy trap. Of course, it doesn't affect him. Oh god, just kind of smash his entire team. <laughs> he just wants he just wants as many players punched as possible. <laughs> oh god. Hooked up, base, base, base. <laughs> this won't fail. I'm armor seven. Burp, burp, burp. Reliable blitzes is a pretty good idea. The team needs guard, but obviously it's a shit skill for a for a um, thing. I really want to one dice him. 
mighty blow. Bro does nothing. <laughs> nah, apparently none's pretty good in Claw. Not with Claw my E blow. <laughs> Funny enough armor seven would have broken there, wouldn't he, against my E blow? God, Juggernaut's amazing for hitting Cheney, isn't it? I've just realised. I should have hit him myself. Oh, so I, should, I should not use Juggernaut if I want to uh, get people down. Right. Thank you, Squirrel Dude. Jesus, or block with him. You have to anyway, Wild Animal already does that. You know? Is more claw palm, and you know what you're gonna do against all throughout it. Just because you have it, it doesn't mean you have to use it every turn, does it? Means when you're making a crucial hit, or if you're gonna get claw palm yourself, you can pile on to avoid it. Some interesting ideas, hasn't he? GFI, like that's gonna fucking work. Stand him up first. I mean, I do want to not stand him up first, but. I haven't learnt my lesson from last game because here comes the GFI. Outrageous. Do I want a one dice? Not really. 
Dodge where here is good because it stops him a bit. Could have re-rolled that didn't actually with four. I didn't really I forgot that I'd won the uh forgot that I'd got the extra one off the kick. To be honest. It's a bold statement, Jesus. Bold statement. Like, having to blitz with your claw pom player is fine. You can't have a second block lined up for him most of the time. You just can't. Not against a good player. No, no, you know, like, um, maybe against, like, random coal people, maybe you can, but against good players, they're going to they're gonna stop you. Believe me, I'd like to take out the fucking dog. Tricky, though. This one guy without without guard is pretty annoying. <laughs> oh, wow. Just straight up three plus three plus, is it? No, it's just a bug on Cheney with this fucking thing. He's an absolute madman. Now I'll get to annihilate his fucking team. Hopefully. He does want to get blocked more, yeah. Yeah, maybe that, that's why he's using Norse. He just likes getting blocked in his player's cards, so he's like... Yep, I would. Well, a two-turn score. A three-turn's a little bit harder, but yeah, I would always start with my opponent getting a two-turn score. It's obviously not so good against vampires and slam, but I'd take it. He wants to win 6 0. <laughs> oh, top 10 journeyman. Yeah, top 10s. They do like the top 10s, don't they? The YouTube people. A couple of guards in there and blitzing. That's, that's well doable, isn't it? Guard there, guard there, guy there, blitz that way. Maybe this is all just a cunning ruse to see me fail and uh, let's put the stand firms on the outside. Right. 
try and kill things first. Top ten squares to kick to. And I need to put a yellow a yellow arrow pointing pointing in the in the description. Oh. Top ten ways to get a concession in the first three three turns. Have guard and mighty blow and stand firm and guard and guard and stand firm and guard. <sighs> I tell you what, top ten, top ten strength skills would be guard, then guard, then guard, then guard, then guard, <laughs> then honourable mentions to mighty blow and piling on, then guard, then guard, then guard. <laughs> yeah, done it. <laughs> ten tricks to farm concessions. Brilliant. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> yeah, I'm pop and pickle. <laughs> yeah, this is this is something I need to work on, for sure. Oh my god, I feel so fucked in my eyes. I would, yeah, ducky, I would. I can't help taking mighty blows. Like, <laughs> obviously, guards kind of better in absolute terms, but having one mighty blow blitz every turn is is huge, isn't it? It really is huge, blitzing a mighty blow every single turn. 16, 16 of your blocks having mighty blow is a huge upgrade. But oh, he didn't concede. Holy shit, he didn't concede. I'm shocked. I don't believe it. Oh, that's why I was going to go this way. Oh my god, I'm a fucking moron. So in my head, right, I'm thinking I'll put guard here and guard here and hit him and then get two dice on him, into two dice on him. And then I thought, oh, no, it'd be better to push him this way. But there's a guy stood there, isn't there? Wow. Wow, that's pretty bad. Pretty bad. The game says it's a GFI. I say it isn't. Uh, oh, fuck. Top 10 armor values, 7 is number 1, <laughs> 5 is number 2. <laughs> Do not use my stun firm. God, I can't believe I fucked up so bad with that blitz. Yeah, no one does, yeah. Well, no, I think it's good that it's not in anymore. It was pretty overpowered, wasn't it? I oh, really fucked up there. <laughs> Holy shit. Right, I get it fucking up next turn though.
It's not sure feet, no, it's a leader. Because five rerolls isn't enough. No, I've got I've got two bonus rerolls on kickoff, see I haven't I'm not a madman who's picked a minion. Base the ball, isn't he? I've got a feeling. Easy free of that. No, God, he's following the troll slayer. Don't bother. Don't even bother following a thick skull, man. Oh, wait a minute. Just, just kill him there. Yeah, why not? Why not? Just fucking smooth kill him. Yeah, Thomas Nizzle, it was an embarrassment, yeah. D dirty player in this guy's case. At least Mull had dirty player. Uh, no Mellow Gold, no. Uh, it's, uh, th Wednesday, I think, is the first one. She had fucking DC with him now. He did indeed base the ball, yeah. <laughs> that was that was something that he managed to do. Good for him. Pretty rough, isn't it? If I stand him, he gets mighty blood. If I stand him, he gets clawed. I could one dice him, two dice him if I bring the ball forward. Bring the ball forward seems suicidal at best. Have to make a screen. And stay here. One, two, three, four, five, six. And get three turns to score there. And he's got stamp firm so he won't get searched. Or pull him against Claw, might as well. Got a reason. <laughs> Welcome to being old. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't feel good. All right. <laughs> I 
really gotta get a fucking knife off the ground, haven't I? <sighs> At some point. I really don't know about him. I'm guessing it's because he's he's not very good at Blood Bowl, but you know, he hasn't been punished yet. Fun. Shame I can't fucking foul him. Who blitzes the mighty blow guy? Who is there? So he can go there. Maybe the blitz glitch is pissing him off too. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. <sighs> Maybe I should have re-rolled that, eh? Can't really protect the ball here. Because <laughs> you could block him. I have two assists, you could block him and then he could run through here. to waste on greed blocks, absolutely cheesy. What if I'd rolled a double score? Pretty big stuns actually, aren't they? strategy with a loner. God, there's no way to run for the board, is there? Got to make two GFIs. Six GFI GFI. Nice. 
Nick Foles. Ja. do is make two GFIs. Should be pretty fucking simple, shouldn't it? Hey! Obviously three guards around him so he can't do anything. I made a lot of chaos and a lot of stuff. But yeah, I guess he is he is basing the dwarves a lot. Rolling GFIs like a madman, unbelievable. Yeah, screw dude, it, it's fine this turn, make basing plays to try and force me to roll dice, but oh, and all the other turns he didn't have to base, like he's been basing all game every turn, like an absolute madman. Uh, hello, man, kids. Yeah, I did promise it would be back today, didn't I? Oh, that, that, that guy didn't do anything, I think. Oh, no, it didn't, yeah. Um, what happened was I've got a fucking horrible cold, so he'll be back probably you know, soon.
No, I'll, I'll be playing the woodies more um, tomorrow, probably. But yeah, it's obviously, it's, it's not going well, the, the woody run right now. things don't want a GFI so I guess I'll just wrestle oh fuck's sake man I fucking blitz with him Think can stand firm with mighty ball. What an idiot. Injury was a nine, would have been a Kaz of a blitz with the right one. Oh no, he had mighty ball as well. Alright, I'm not an idiot. Good. In fact, mighty ball is what made it the car made it the made it the KO. So good. Not an idiot in the end. Lucky me. Yeah, I'm third. I'm third. Um, equal points with Spartaco, but I've conceded twice and he hasn't conceded, so I'm like losing the tiebreaker against Spartaco due to the concessions. But then on the other hand, if I hadn't conceded those games, maybe I'd have taken tons more cars and would have lost the subsequent games anyway. So on the other hand, if I hadn't conceded them, maybe I would have, uh, maybe I would have won them or drawn them. Yeah, a lot, a lot of rolls there as well, wasn't it? Five PO. But uh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. He's going to struggle here, isn't he? Hopefully. So he leveled up. I guess he wants to score. He wants to snort. Snow. <laughs> Scott snort instead of score. Oh, he, you know, he's not so important. Rookie could go towards guard, I guess. Oh, <laughs> this will, yeah, it's glorious. There's grass on the pitch. There's men in the stands. <laughs> yeah, Cheney on the LOS is indeed a decision. It's a uh, high risk. <laughs> high risk. <laughs> Not so high risk though, apparently. I wanted to do that so that if I pushed him twice, I could get another mighty ball hit on him. Rather than the Cheney hit first. There's no need for me to pick up the ball. Yeah, I knew that was coming. <laughs> All the MVPs will do, honestly. Yeah. I knew I was going to come. Maybe I should have gone to pick up the ball. Because my team's pretty separated at the moment. Failing the pickup might have been a better idea than failing the block. I mean, I knew it was coming after I'd used after I'd used a reroll in one turn. I was bound to then roll another double score, wasn't I? It was absolutely guaranteed. I 
I guess he's so far back that I can waddle these guys back. Going for the surf. Smart move. there potentially no it's only in fact I mean a lot of trouble after rolling two double scores in the same turn I have tried it, yeah. It's not my strategy. <laughs> yeah, so while technically not a quad skull, it ended up like one, didn't it? With a deep kick. But he's able, he's, he let me free that guy, didn't he, which was not good to put it mildly right safe moves first move this geezer back see if this block works technically does That's him leveled up. I think he thinks he's putting pressure on by uh, going down there. But it's not really, is it? Forgot I didn't have five re rolls when I did that. Of course, it's a double one. Into an armor break. Of course, it is. Of course it is. Because I counted the squares and knew he could reach. You know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. GFI, GFI. Because I knew he could reach me. I did the GFI and double one. Wow. <laughs> really fucking stupid, this. Like, he was much better than 1 in 36 to get the ball off me if I didn't make that GFI. I kind of had to do it.
Yeah, there's no sponsor yet. I don't know, young cat. I really don't know. So I guess I shouldn't have made that deal, but I guess I should have banked on him just not making the right move, rather than me making a one thirty six fail. But it was, I think it was the right move to make. You can't just assume your opponent's going to play shit, can you? I mean, well, you can, and it works quite well for some people, but you shouldn't. I don't think. I think you should play as if as if they are good. <laughs> Pretty nice stand firm there, stopping him getting base. He's just put game plan every turn is herb dirt base base base. This won't fail. I'm on a seven. It's fucking sickening. <laughs> sickening that it's actually working. Can block one, two, three, four, five. So he could block for the mighty blow hit. Should have stood him up first. Very poor. Now he can block him later. He can come down the pitch somewhere. Like that. So I had better follow because he could jump up. Make sure the guards were in. I fail a pickup, he probably just scores, doesn't he? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, GFI, GFI, yeah. What if I just got, don't go for the pickup? Yeah, I've got to go for the pickup. No, broke armor. Piling on, did a thing. I got a couple of people coming in. Obviously, got to re roll it. Oh, thank God. God scatter. Thank God for that. God for the fucking scatter at least. But using all my rerolls is horrific. And <laughs> being out of rerolls with five turns left is absolutely fucking horrific. Four, five, six, one, two, oh, fuck off. One, two, three, one, two, three. Oh fuck off man! Let me just fucking look at the pitch! One, two, three, four, five, six. So one, two, three, four turns and eight score. Yeah, but he doesn't need to fucking win, does he, Strategy K? That's the thing. <laughs> he's just. He's, oh, now I can't do it. Oh, fuck. Now it's just literally. I um, have to go max distance forward every single turn, never get knocked over. Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> oh, the fuck is this?
He can blitz. He can cover him. I just literally have to get in the scoring range, don't I? It's fucking, this is so fucking dumb. Where can he go? One, two, three, four. He wish he had that Hail Mary pass now. No. no, I don't. I just wish I had a fucking reroll. Wish I hadn't made that GFI. That's what I wish. Troll versus Troll Slayer. I... Brilliant, dead. Fantastic. Happy days. Happy fucking days. Cancel the guard assist. Best the Yeti. Go this way, and then what's this? Right, and then it's further away from the Yeti. I think that's probably where I'd like to be. Because I could have gone there and then it could have been a block and a frenzy try. Push them away from tackle, but need to make an extra G5, doesn't it?
Yes, Norse do have do have a lot more movement than dwarves. <laughs> to be fair, dwarves make everyone look like they've got nice movement. And what can I do here? One dice there, block him, move in a guy here and then dodge. <laughs> I guess putting tackle on him is an idea. Oh, I moved him, fuck. Right, so he can catch me anyway, whatever happens. I can't even do the two plus and pro, never mind the fucking three plus and pro. Oh. Oh, my fucking eyes are killing me now. I'm gonna fucking lose to this guy. Because I made that GFI assuming assuming he would make the right play. So I guess I shouldn't have done. I guess I shouldn't have assumed he'd make the right play. But you've got to though, haven't you? I don't know, my fucking head's killing me now anyway. I'm just happy it's gonna be fucking over soon. Yep, clearly he was. Um, he's in scoring range. I couldn't really do anything different here with the movement that I'm after. Obviously getting the guards together to do a frenzy trap or limit the blocks in some way would have been better, but I just couldn't do it. You can still score, can't you? You can still just fucking score and win. What the fuck has happened today with these dwarves? I just don't even understand it. I literally don't understand what has happened today. Have I played that bad? Have I really played that bad?
I don't think I've set the world on fire, but I don't think I've played that bad. Should have stood these guys up, I guess, to make Arden blitz off me. So, like, now I did play bad that turn for sure. But, I'm past carrying. Well, that was really bad. To be fair. I'm just glad it's fucking over. And if I'd stood that guy up, he would have had a blitz with your guy who didn't have block and you would have failed. Back to back wins. Okay, there were three there were three concession victories in between. <laughs>